he, he some he's intentionally pissing him off at points, but like I just I'll, I do the yeah I think actually you might be right though the septic tank one like the first time I heard like yeah I'm just gonna come tap into your tank a bit down there I got to take care of some work I got my own hose just don't touch my hose yeah. I have some structural to, problems at my they house don't, they don't really do um, prank call shows anymore do they they don't no because no. it's probably too many legal hoops you know what I mean yeah he was using Skype for a lot of. For a couple of those calls. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if anybody still uses Skype. No, nobody. Well, Zoom kind of killed that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And Discord. Do they have like cars overseas and stuff like that? When you get way over the seas, yeah. eventually there's cars. Did you have hamsters as a kid? Oh, yeah. What happened to them? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give them clear shots. Welcome to the Clear Shots podcast. My name is Seth Skinner. This is my buddy, Jake. Hello. And today... We've got our friend Zamaya on the show. Hola. He's been on here before. I have. Um, this is brought to you by the Clear Shot Studios. We are also in partnership with our friends over at W.GG. You can go to W.GG and use our promo code, Clear Shots. It's all one word. You get 10% off your entire order, so go do that. You want to get a W? Whoops! I just w. played the theme song again. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> can you cut? Oh, oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. That W stuff's actually good. I know that people are like, "Oh, they probably pay you to say this." They don't pay us to do anything. We just no. Well, we just we just tell people to buy it, and sometimes we people get good buy deals. it. But yeah. it actually is pretty good. It just it looks like you're putting mustard seeds in your water. So like, if you're gonna put it in something, make sure it's not a clear water bottle because it okay. looks like you're drinking something that you shouldn't be drinking. Yeah. I, well. I, I, done like the g fuel and the gamer subs and stuff so i have shaker bottles yeah it's yeah very... I, it tastes great it and it, it i mean it well, does what it does you know it's like they don't color the powder yeah the, yeah i mean so. it's nothing against them it's just like i just you ever see those commercials where they're they they're selling those straws that they send to third world countries where it's like Oh, you the can light drink, straws? Yeah, you can yeah. drink any water anywhere. You can drink, like, fucking motor oil, yeah. and somehow you'll just... Yeah, yeah you'll, you'll just water you'll drink and literally piss, and yeah. you're like, this is water now. Why don't they just Honestly, do that? Yeah. Why don't they just filter their own piss with life straws? That would actually Did be... we just break dehydration? Yeah, you know, we did. I think you'd go through a lot of straws. Like, that's not, that's like a lot of make filters. Them, make them edible. Yeah, you know, you get, because there's a lot of filters. You yeah. have to buy the filters and shit. Yeah, it's... It's like an air purifier. I just don't buy filters. I'll just, I'll just take the filter out, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I'll just suck it off with a vacuum. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. That's, well, yeah, that's, no, that's what you're supposed no, fuck okay. that. All right. I, I didn't know, know if you were I... supposed to just keep buying new ones. I didn't know if that was the... They want you to. Yeah, they want yeah. you to. So that's the scam, but I was like... Eh, that's how they get you. Well, that's how the Swiffer, like, wet chat and stuff gets you, because they want you to keep buying the little bottles. They also make those bottles so that you can't put, like, other shit in them, too. Mm -hmm. they, they fucking They have that reusable up. pads that you can buy we have them at the house i work at yeah they i, I think there's like something about i, I watched like a video because i was like i have a wet jet but like there's a way you can like mod those bottles <laughs> to get them to, to like be able to refill them and shit with your really? own solution it's like how to jailbreak my wet jet <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you have to hack into the system Damn. <laughs> yeah it's a whole complicated you know one two three step process unreal but that's how they get you they want you to keep buying them fucking the bottle things the yep. solution you they you, want everybody to be your like you have to be the only dealer you know what i mean that's the key here's an idea we uh, should figure that out we should like channel that into something here's an idea how about just get a, a broom I don't understand. A broom does not mop the floor, though. Then so. get a mop. mop yeah, but is like, cheaper. That's two different things, Jake. You a can mop. have two in one. I know, but then you got to get a mop bucket, too. You no, know, you don't. Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, you, what do you, you mean have, you don't? What are you going to do yeah, with you the have mop? You to get a mop bucket. What? You don't need yeah, a mop you, bucket. 
Yeah, yeah you do. You can, no, you can use are your you just, sink. Are you using a dry mop or are you using a sink? Yeah, you could just use your sink or your bathtub. I mean, I guess, but you can't wring it out. Yeah, you need the... You need to be able to wring it out. You can use your hands. Ugh. And then this fucking... Yeah, I guess. I, I mean... <sighs> I but they probably so, sell, you know, they probably sell like a package deal that comes with the bucket. I don't mop. I I spray the linoleum in my kitchen with pledge and then I slide around with your on socks. socks. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's actually what I do. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> it's really fun. And um it ruins your socks. So don't do it. <laughs> I imagine. <Yeah>. I imagine. <laughs> it's not good for your socks. Yeah. It's really bad for your socks. I have um several uh, pairs of cleaning socks. Yeah, and then I have um, casual, casual wear socks. Also business. Socks. And then I also have c- my cum socks. Yeah, which after you use the cleaning socks for too long, you can't tell the difference between the cleaning socks and the cum socks. Mm-hmm. So, so that's have the you problem. ever reused uh, cleaning socks for cum socks, or have you used opposite, vice versa? <laughs> No, because I feel like you can't really go either way on that. No, because well, I'll I'll pick up the cum sock and then I'll go to put it on and then I'm like, oh, what? And there's like mushrooms growing in and there, and I'm like, oh, hard. that's not the cleaning sock. Yeah. And then so I, it almost gets me. It mm. almost gets me. Yeah. I watched this TikTok video where this guy opened up his drawer and he pulled out his cum socks and they were all like stacked and super hard. They were like as hard as cardboard, and they, it was like uh-huh. a deck of cards, but just. Yeah, socks. they get they get pretty crusty, and it was like ripping them apart. Yeah, like you're trying, like you're making fucking Philly cheesesteaks. It's the steak, yeah, yes, yes, stuff. the thin steaks. Yeah, dude. Like, what kind of steaks are those even? Like, what, sorry, what like, kind of steak is that? What what TikTok is algorithm gets yeah, into that? Your algorithm is awesome. It is, it, my algorithm's fucked. My algorithm is literally just disabled people dancing. Mine's just unhinged nonsense. That's amazing. Yeah, it used to just be a lot of boobs, but then I've I've steered it more in the direction of unhinged nonsense because yeah. I'm not in my early twenties. There's times where I regret that though. Like Wes and I send each other constantly like fucked up weird shit that makes no sense. But mm. the problem with that is now I open the app and all I see is fucked up weird shit that doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. And it's like sometimes I want to watch something else <laughs> so now it's like decreased my like instagram time and shit <laughs> which is good yeah no that's a good thing i guess yeah just like murder your algorithm to where it's too bad to even want to get on anymore yeah that's the strat <laughs> yeah i reset my algorithm to like cars and really fucking dumb shit yeah so, like and I, warhammer i get like wrestling and shit on occasion but that's because i like force myself to get wrestling that's my entire facebook reel like for some reason my facebook reels thinks i only want to watch wrestling videos and Mm -hmm. that's all it gives me ever Mm -hmm. that kicks ass though yeah i open youtube and it's all wrestling and then like uh yeah a little bit of football i guess like highlights a lot of six feet under clothes it's like it's hard to like watch other sh- find other shit now because <laughs> it's, it's like I'm so locked into this like ecosystem of like my the only is, the shit that I like. My watch. YouTube is fucked up. It's the only service I use, and I if I like if I watch a video front to back and I like it enough, I'll like the video and automatically subscribe to the person just mm-hmm. on instinct. I'm sub I have so many subscriptions. I thought you I had like a and lot. subscribe hundreds, dude. Maybe over a thousand. But the best ones are the ones that get like no views. And sometimes mm-hmm. I'll just spend my time doing that. There's this guy I watch uh well the fucking Justice Trom number one home movies fan. That guy's insane. Have I ever sent? I think I've sent it to you before. Every day he posts a uh, home movies and uh, two and a half men hypothetical question. Mm. No, Every day send that to me. he's amazing. He's he's a, he's precious. That's and what you gotta also, do. Is like they say, make like two years worth of content ahead of time and like, then release. It. You know, uh, the C- CEO one hundred able guy. That it, there's this guy that we watch. Uh, we used to watch him all the time. It was actually unhealthy. We initially found his channel because he he uploaded full episodes of Teletubbies. Every episode of Teletubbies is on his channel. But wow. then we discovered that he also does stop motion Lego videos. He does Windows installation tutorials. But the best thing he does is cold starts cars. He he gets a stopwatch and he measures how long it takes for cars <laughs> to start when it's cold outside. It's okay. the most fun. 
it's All the right. most fun. Yeah, there really is a lane for everything, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You can pretty much do anything on, on YouTube. And so that's if you my catch YouTube. on, you catch on. My YouTube is autistic people's fixation. It's like I get fixated on watching other people's fixations. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe that's a good strat. Like maybe we should have uploaded a bunch of Teletubbies episodes first and, and baseline start from there. You know what I mean? That way it your alg like they you get into the algorithm from that and you get all those subs. Did you watch Teletubbies as a child? Yeah. Which one's your favorite? The purple one, because purple's my favorite color. I don't know what its name is. Dipsy. Okay. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I also like purple. <clears throat> my Mine was Poe, dude. The little red one. It's a little concerning you know all their names. <clears throat> Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La, and Poe, bro. I just I that song is just shit. in my head constantly. Is that is that her stomping around upstairs, or did somebody break into the house? They, are somebody rummaging through your home? Could have been anything. It's fine. Yeah, we're um, busy. Speaking of rummaging. I can't hear it because I've had phones. <laughs> uh, I recently watched all the Saw movies okay. front to back. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen those? Have you seen I've any? I've seen a handful um, of them. Are, the you, only are ones... you in the Halloween spirit, Z? Okay, so I think I've seen up to... So I've seen Saw 1, 2, 3, 4... Is there a five? There's ten. A, <laughs> there's fucking ten of them. There's, there's ten of them, isn't there? Yeah. There's, there's a, a eleven there's comes out next year. All the way up, like every single number up to ten, or did they skip some? Uh, no, they did. They did one through six, and then they had three D, and then they yeah, had, I saw three D. Then they had uh, Jigsaw. I didn't see Jigsaw. And then they had Spiral from the Book no, of Saw. Didn't see that one either. And then they had Saw X. Which nope, is Saw in Space. Or should have been Saw in Space. Should have been Saw in Space. That would have been sick. Like Jason X, which is oh, the best yeah. five to 13. The best movie ever, actually. It's Jason X and Doom with The Rock. <laughs> are like the two best movies I've ever <laughs> Doom? seen. Doom? Doom, yeah, with The Rock. Dwayne The Rock. Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> it's, him and, it's him and Judge Dredd. Mm -hmm. And that other guy. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen that one. You've never I've seen, seen Doom you don't with the Rock? No, I've never yeah, seen that, and I've never seen Jason X either. It's not a movie. But I'm not a see. movie. I'm not a movie guy. No, you watch fucking Packers highlights in 2001: A Space Odyssey. Well, yeah, like I just said, I watch wrestling and <laughs> and football highlights. Do you get into the Halloween spirit and watch horror movies? I do. I what, do. What, I try to watch prefer? like new horror movies that I haven't seen yet. I'll mix them in. You know what I mean? But usually, it's like the same ones that I've seen already. I always like, got to watch The House of Jack Built, though. My favorite slasher movie. That's a classic. I like, uh, I don't know. I guess I, I've seen like a lot of the classics, like Psycho and Halloween and fucking like that, like the baseline horror movie type of shit. But all the fucking horror movies I've seen in the last like 10 years, it all blends together and I just don't remember any of them. A lot of them follow a very similar formula. Yeah. So. I don't know, like, Similar. And, and I can't Similar. remember the story. It all, I don't know. They all feel, they all feel the same to me. Mm. It's all the same type of scares and shit. I don't know. I'm tired. I want something like that's. Sometimes I like the ones that are like the witch, like where it's like unsettling and it's not jump scare. It doesn't rely on jump scares. They need to get. They need to start like giving a lot of the analog horror YouTubers movie deals and just tap into a horror that's. Just nobody's ready for yeah, it. Yeah, like fucking because uh, they're doing that with Kane Pixels. Yeah, mm -hmm. which the is who awesome. Made, uh, back back rooms. rooms. He he also just released a video like a couple weeks ago. There was that a part <clears throat> of that one thing in the mall. It's a back. Well, it's a back rooms. It's part of the back room series. Oh, okay, because he was doing something else where it was like. He, was. he went down that, like, he found a staircase in the middle of the woods, and he went down, and it was a super fucking long staircase, and then it came to this underground mall, and there was this fucking, like, weird statue creature that would was Yeah, he has another series, and I would like to watch that, too. I forget what it's called. I can't fucking remember what it's called, but... But... <clears throat> my favorite is the Mandela Catalog, like, without a doubt. That one got really under my skin. So I, I discovered that one like while I was starting, like while I was going back to church again. So it just did not hit. It hit me bad. 
it was just really freaky. Now I don't think it would bother me as much because I don't really go to church anymore. But you know that that small f- fraction of time where I found God <laughs> and He was chill. Yeah, He was. I. He was pretty cool for a couple months. Have you ever seen that one? Hmm. The Mandela Catalog. Yeah. 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 Have you seen that one? No. That one's really good. I actually don't even want to talk about it because you just got to go into it. But it's really fucking. It's uh. There's something about analog horror, man. There really is. Yeah. Like, um, it's on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. It's very um unsettling. It's almost it's almost presented like a access. um a public access show. Yeah. It's like a public access show cut in with fucking uh like CCTV footage and recorded um. Phone calls and shit. There's a that's the other thing I'm obsessed with. Um, my YouTube front page will always be uh, Explore with Us, which mm-hmm. is like body cam footage and like police interrogations and shit. Mm-hmm. And I'll go way too heavy into that. Hmm. Yeah, the Mandela catalog is really fun. Yeah, um, I'm gonna look at Kane Pixels too because I wanted to see what his other uh. Serious was because he's got back rooms and then it's that one, the the, well, the one that know. the oldest feet was under, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, this is wild looking. The remains of Valley View Mall. Mm-hmm. That's the mall that he used for this whole thing. Fuck yeah! And the entire thing was made in Blender. Yeah, that's wild. All of this, like everything is made in Blender, which is fucking nuts. Yeah, I think he did. I don't know how much of the back rooms he did, but that, that's all in Blender, too, which is yep. fucking insane. Yeah, the stuff that the shit that people are doing with Blender nowadays, you know, you can kind of tell because like so when like you see people walking, you can tell you're like, oh, this is all animated. Mm-hmm. But like, it's not even that. It's like the environment itself is hard to replicate. Yeah, obviously. you really have to look close to like realize like, oh, that's like, that's a little weird there. And then you're like, yeah. oh, 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 this is this isn't real. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> that's what makes analog horror so scary because um, you're subconsciously picking up all that before you realize what you're seeing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so like you're you're automatically. You're unsettled by it before you even realize, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really weird. It's the like the liminal that. space in general is just oh, like yeah. really immersive. Yeah. Like and it's also like weird because it's nostalgically familiar to you, but it's also like giant and endless. And some of the shit that's cool in the back rooms is like you look at the story <clears> and you're like, Oh, they were just like trying to develop like space for storage and and like apartments and things like that. Mm-hmm. Like basically just a space that didn't exist, but it did. And mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what happened because there's entities in it and shit, but <laughs> fucking it's, there's parts in the newest one where he walks, he like walks across a bridge and it's like, you can see all these buildings and shit. Like he's in a fucking, this weird fucking, um, I don't know, whatever they built in there. But oh, it's so like it was in that town where it's like that weird like town underground there's town that, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Which is wild because he in the newest one, he goes into one of those houses and he's talking to somebody. And he's talking to someone who's like in a different reality, apparently, or it seems mm-hmm. like it. Or maybe another parallel like universe or some shit. I think the reason why, like, all that stuff, like, the the settings and the environments are so fucking creepy is because they're so dreamlike. Yeah. Especially with a lot of the backroom stuff is, like, you feel like that's stuff that you see in your dreams. Yeah. Like, especially the the parts where he goes into the town and shit like that. That made me, that I was just like, oh, I don't like that because I feel like I've, like, something like that has happened in my dreams or mm-hmm. something where I've, like, feel walked like you've into. been there before. Yeah, it's one of those It reminds types me of, of like, a, a Disney set where, like, if you're in, like, Disney World and you're indoors, mm-hmm. but it's, like, a set of something outdoors. Yeah. And you're, you can kind of, like, make out where the border of the room is and shit. Mm-hmm. It's like you're in a Fallout vault or yeah. something. Yeah. I don't know. It's like it's it's so well done though. Oh my god. Those videos like just like suck you in. 
and like Sucked just hearing off. the just hearing the like um the concept of it. What's cool too is he can just do whatever he wants and then explain it in the story later. Yeah. Because <laughs> no one knows the story. Yeah, like, everyone's like, "What the fuck happened?" And that kind of like adds to it because like he he's not giving you any in- information until he wants. To. Yeah, you want it to be super vague. Mm-hmm. You know what's sick is I can circle that right back to Saw because that's how the Saw movies feel. I actually discovered yesterday that the only way for them to make sense is if you watch the first seven in a row as if it's a really long soap opera. I think that's what makes analog horror so good too because. Okay. You're you're sucked in because the more you watch it, the the more you learn, but the less you know. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like you're learning something every time, but then you're realizing how much more and more and more there right, is. Because you're there. trying to in your head you're trying to piece it together, but you're like, What do I piece this to? Like mm-hmm. there's nothing <laughs> there's not really a lot of connections to be made. So this Kane Pixels guy is making his own film, is what you're saying? Um, he's going to be making a backrooms show sort of thing for Netflix. Really? Yeah. Netflix hired him. So That's fucking awesome. Yeah. He's a director, I believe, for whatever he's doing. How could you not? I mean, you watch the shit that he makes and you're like, well, like, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in. Like they need to they need to start tapping into the fucking analog horror and they need to start going in and making creepy pastas in the movies, certain creepy pastas, like the ones that are good, not Jeff the Killer. Like the goat. <laughs> I think the Jeff goat. the Killer's so fucking stupid. The oh goat might, might be my favorite or not the goat. The goat man. The goat man. That might be one of my favorites. Where the kids go on the camping trip or whatever. It's just it's it's just a skinwalker story. Mm-hmm. I really mm-hmm. like Pen Pal. Um, yeah, Baraska fucked me up hard. Ben drowned. Uh, I'd love it. I'd, I'd love a fucking gaming creepypasta, honestly, mm-hmm. like Pokemon Black, <laughs> like something yeah. like that. The Lavender Town shit. The Lavender Town one. There, I, there was a point in my life where I thought that whole thing was real, where I, I thought like the Lavender, t- like there was a fucked up version of the Lavender Town theme that was making people have seizures and shit. I was like that. I, I was a stupid kid. So yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's believable. I mean, nah. everybody. There, there's no way that not everybody didn't believe that at some point. Because it's such like the songs that they dun, used in dun, the dun, Game dun, Boys. They were dun, so <laughs> high pitched that I was like, "There's they could put some sort of like binaural sound behind it that would that would do something to you, to you maybe, but probably yeah, not. I don't know. There's something about eight bit that is like it has like a very like the frequency is very like. I guess it's nostalgia mm-hmm. primarily, but like I feel like that could that could go over well in a horror series. Yeah. Um, like eight well, bit music. One of the best horror games that's out there right now is actually in the style of like the Atari. It's like rotoscoped. Um, Faith, the Unholy Trinity, mm-hmm. and it looks it literally looks like an Atari fifty two hundred game. But uh, yeah, it's I, wa- I, I watched Oni plays do yep. that one. That's why I bought it because I was like, "This looks fucking terrifying." And I bought Harv- Harvester because they played through it. Oh, that's another <laughs> crazy one. Yeah. yeah, the best. I think that's what makes horror so appealing is that it's such a like there isn't a way to perfect it, so mm-hmm. the really big companies don't even bother. Yeah. So really, it's it's a bloated genre with just you know B minuses and lower, which yeah. that's. The best part about it is it's it's mainstream horror had its had its day in the sun, and now I think people are kind of sick of it already. I have a, yeah. Sometimes like with a, I think the horror genre for me is such a roll of the dice that I that's why I don't do it. You know, you know what I mean. A like, lot of it's played out. Like there, it, a lot of it's been done, and it's been done to death mm-hmm. to the point where like it's not scary for anyone anymore it's just like oh what about this angle to this story setup and you're just like okay right. yeah that was that was well done that's just kind of all you get out of it <laughs> yeah and then there's just like they set you up for where you think there's going to be a jump scare yeah. and then it's just their friend or whatever <laughs> oh no the <laughs> best happens. is uh when they're when they're in the bathroom with the mirror and, and then they're, they they're close looking it. in the mirror, yeah. and then they open the mirror up, and then they close again, and there's someone there's there. Someone behind them, yeah. That's a classic, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, or there's not, and they make you think that there's going to be someone in the mirror. So 
I think Hereditary did a really good job with like with like the horror that kind of like gets you deep just because throughout the film I'm not talking about the ending the ending in my opinion kind of uh, it it muddled things for me but there's like the there's like the part at the beginning where she shuts the light light off in her um studio and the grandmother standing there naked like wide-eyed and smiling and then she like she like turns the light back on and she's gone like that kind of shit I was like oh fuck that kind of shit got me but um the movies where you have to watch it like you watch it two three four times and you're seeing more shit each time yeah the shit that you like that you don't r- realize until you actually look for it and you're like oh fuck mm. i love i also love horror mockumentaries mm-hmm. like um uh lake mungo is great and uh the poughkeepsie tapes is great yep um the ta- um, taking a deborah logan yeah was that's a good, good one too found footage anything found footage inject that into my veins i love like anything anything in that style is i'm watching it it's just there's just it just immediately takes me back to like 2002 Mm. (laughs) like it doesn't matter you could do fucking jason x found footage style and i would still feel like we were i think that's a tough genre to get everybody on the same page with because some people just don't like it and they really fucking get dizzy with it or yeah yeah. and some people just are weak yeah, well, that was a big <laughs> criticism with, like, Cloverfield and, um, like, Blair Witch and stuff like that. It's, like, the people just did, couldn't get into it for that reason. And it's, like, I like that. I don't mind it at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it makes it more immersive because you're – it's it, that's the idea is you're watching the fucking what happened. The problem with found footage is that if it's good, it's really good. And if it's bad, it's really bad. Yeah. Like some of the worst movies I've ever seen were also found footage, like Diary of the Dead. That movie was awful, which Mm. is somehow a George Romero film. But have you seen Wreck? No. Like, oh, like wait, the yeah, REC, yeah. Like REC, record. like uh, the oh, the original yeah. quarantine. Yes. Yeah. The, the that, way creepier version, the, in yeah, my opinion. The, the actual opinion. good version of quarantine. Yeah. yeah. We did terrifying. So Absolutely good. terrifying. Yeah. Um. Another. That's a film that was found footage, and it also did jump scares the the right way. Mm-hmm. Um. Because there's some movies that just. Uh, I don't mind a jump scare, but you got to earn it. They're good. Yeah. Like Insidious has a couple good ones. Sinister has a couple good ones. And then also the worst one where they literally pull the, wouldn't it be funny if we had a jump scare right before the credits yeah. where it's like, the, like the movie ends and it's just, it's just, you know, like the redo of Friday the 13th where they had fucking Freddy come through the mirror at the end. Yeah, exactly it's, like that. And just ruined the whole film. It's like, ah, <laughs> <sick>. <laughs> just fuck the They're entire like, thing. Hold up. Let's just ruin this whole thing. Real yeah. Hard. It's like, we've been doing great up to this point. What if we ruined it? What if we ruined it? <laughs> man, I, like it. That I like what you're endings doing. Endings are hard, Let's man. I think endings are hard. They got to be, right? Stephen King can't do endings. Game of Thrones didn't end. The Game of Thrones never ended. Endings um, are hard, but I mean, yeah. they're still like, they can be done well. Yeah. You so have it's to just, like yeah, try. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, the worst thing is, like, too, put is put some that effort into it. Nothing's ever really gone. No. No man. one's ever really gone. No. You know, yeah, you have to. The problem with it is a lot of shows and like TV shows specifically, or like anything that's on like a streaming service now, I feel like stretches it out too long because they're Mm. they have their viewers, they know that they're gonna make money. They come out with another fucking season when it it needed to end here, like at this Mm -hmm. point. I was like a big thing, like, I don't know, I, I can't. I also can't get into long series. It's just too much. And it's too much of a fucking commitment, but yeah. Because I'm I'm worried that it's not going to pay off, too. <laughs> oh, I feel that. Yeah. Don't watch Game of Thrones. Don't watch. You'll Game just of be Thrones. sad. Yeah, or like Walking Dead or something like that. It's like but that's why I stopped watching The Strain, which we talked about like a while ago. And I I, I apparently it um has an ending. I mean, they only did like four seasons or something like that. So maybe I'll go back and watch it now that I know that it's finite <laughs> and I don't have to wait a year after I watch a season to fucking try to remember what happened. <laughs> I know the worst is like, especially shows like The Walking Dead. Like I stopped watching it when Negan arrived. 
Yeah. And yeah. then I found out that there was like five more seasons. Right. Which is yeah, and there's spin off two spin off shows yeah. now. Like, and it's like what the fuck? why are we still going with two this? new spin offs? Because they already had Fear of the Walking Dead. I, oh, oh, oh yeah. there's two new ones that aren't yeah. fear. Yeah, Holy there's fuck. fear of the Walking Dead. Then there's uh those who lived, and then there's one there's one that's uh Rick and Michonne. There's one that's Daryl in France, and then there's one with Maggie and Negan in Miami or something. Why? <laughs> Because they, because the milk makes money. There's milk yeah, there's it. five different Walking Dead milk series. They shit. just announced a new Game of Thrones spinoff, but it isn't Robert's Rebellion, so I don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. That's all I want. It's like with Stranger mm-hmm. Things. I watched the I watched the first two seasons when they were out. Yeah, <clears throat> and then I like didn't come back for the third. And I don't know if they did four. I think they only did three. Right. I have no idea. But they, I remember seeing the end of it, and it spoiled it for me. So now I'm like, I don't know if I even want to. <laughs> like yeah. do this. Again. I don't even know if I could tell you to watch House of the Dragon because I don't even like. I didn't like it. It bored the fuck season out two of me. ruined me. Really? They they there's a lot of, and I hate to be that guy because I was this guy with the Fallout show and I was I'm just this guy with everything that gets adapted at an adaptation. Mm-hmm. But like, if the story's already there and the story's already been established for years, don't change shit. Halo. Yeah. But if you're gonna change shit. Don't get mad at the fans that are annoyed that you're changing shit. Yeah. Right. The Halo show is the worst. Dude, the fucking PNG AR sliding across the screen will never not ruin me. That will never not ruin me. They he had, they had him take off his helmet the first fucking episode. <laughs> the first fucking. And, yeah. They were like, what? what is the one cardinal sin you could commit with Halo? Hey, let's do that the first goddamn episode. Yeah, seriously, though. <laughs> they literally made every game to like tease the helmet coming off. And like, and then they're like, "Let's just ruin that, bro." Yeah. And this is the other thing too; they didn't even pick like a handsome looking guy or a guy that even looks like John One One Seven in the fucking like lore. He was blonde. I don't he even was know what he did. Yeah, look like. I thought he was bald. The kid when they abduct the kid, oh John, is a, like a blonde hair. He's kid. like a tiny Brock Lesnar. <laughs> But not, not like a child Brock Lesnar, but he's just a smaller. Yeah. <laughs> they. What in, if Brock I think Lesnar the only thing they ever Master showed Chief. in in Halo Four, <laughs> if you beat it on Legendary, it shows his eyes. Yeah. That's all it ever shows. Like there's like a scar on his eye, and that was like all that they ever showed. But he, then they're he, like, let's make a Halo show, and then they're going. First episode, first thing you have to do. Is immediately take that off. Just immediately shit down the throat of every fan who loved this thing. Yeah, and, and who are we trying to bring in? Who's the audience? The part the part that confused me was yeah. the um the fact that there was like a rebel militia that hated the UNSC. Like how are you like they're Why literally, do you need another they're faction? literally your they're literally your nation's military. Why are you like Oh, because there's people in the United States to, like now that hate the military and shit so i guess they had to make it they felt like they had to make a they, parallel with that but it's just like a, <laughs> what, like why are we what they there's didn't, no split they didn't, there's no antifa in halo no <laughs> there's already they put antifa in halo there's already like there's how many there's fact there's already a ton of factions though but there's no like splinter cell human faction that's vaguely against the yeah, main, and they like, don't that doesn't exist. Right? Yeah, there were no humans that stormed Reach. Like, yeah, that dude. That, be, <laughs> that would have been wild. <laughs> it's easier to shoot practical effects that way, though. True. Uh, well, yeah. it's like how every fucking time they make like an alien game, you always end up fighting humans or like androids at some point. Yeah. Like you never. It's never an alien game where it's just the xenomorph. It's like yeah. Here comes Wayland mercenaries. <laughs> yeah, but if you th- think about it, like if you were to like Hell Divers, if it was just the bugs, I mean, I really like only liked fighting bugs, but I feel like it would have gotten stale way faster if they it didn't is, add the yeah, bots it, in. It, it oh, varies the bots the are combat, cool. Like, yeah, but I don't uh, think you got to put. You don't got to put fucking humans in. in don't put humans in an alien yeah. game. No, put, yeah, uh, no. put uh put uh more aliens. Yeah, like different aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Helldivers, I'm waiting for them to put the Illuminate in. We I said this on the banked episode, I'm saying it again. I want them to put the blue guys in. They're not gonna be in until next year, dude, probably. They're hanging yeah, on to them for year. some fucking reason. They're not giving it's so it. So stupid. I don't know why. Don't know why. Like every time there's an update, I always play at least for like an hour or two. Every every patch I play. 
And every time I'm just like, oh, I had fun because I'm not one of those fucking dinks on Reddit or Discord that just screeches at the fucking community managers this is all day. They broke this or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like the best part is that we can we can retread some of the stuff we already talked about because that episode's not even out yet. Yeah. But it's insane how like like esports get gets popular and streamers get popular, and then it's like all these companies cater to to streamers and esports players mm. or all like with hell divers they're just like i part of me felt like they were doing it out of spite of how toxic the community was they were purposefully making things shitty to try and get people to stop playing like, yeah. <laughs> and being a streamer like i don't know i would I couldn't never it, fucking want that my job. sister's boyfriend is a, is a twitch streamer austin I'd love him to death like i like i it's wild it, man. the thought of it it's playing video games for a living that sounds amazing, but at some point, no matter what you do, if you do it every single day, it's going to feel like a job and yeah. you're going to wind up hating it at yeah. some point. So it's like, why would you want to rob yourself of the joy of playing video games by making it into a job that you're forcing yourself to do yeah. every single day? I also day? feel like it's not even about playing the video game half the time when you're on there. It's like no. you're very hyper aware that there's hundreds of people in their chat or whatever. Yeah, so. I wouldn't be able to pay attention to chat because I would want to pay attention to the game. And that's not how you're supposed to do Twitch. I don't so. want to pay attention to the game at all. I would want to pay attention to the donations. And only the don- do- donations. Like I would like, I would probably keep sending money, guys. Yep. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I might play this in a second, but send me some more money. Hold on. Have you ever seen the the ones that <laughs> I love it? We're, we're, we're retreading, retreading. I don't exactly. Give a shit. That <laughs> episode is gonna come out like two weeks after this one, and, <laughs> and everybody's gonna be like, "We just heard that." <laughs> Pay money, Wubby is a genius on that front. Have you ever seen Pay Money, Wubby? Pay it, Money, Wubby. Is he gonna be the guy that I think I'm talking about? The redheaded dude with the beard. Black glasses? Oh no, no. Mm. I can figure that out. Uh, he wears the green, green suit. Like he has a green man suit that he wears, oh. but it's because he has a backgrounds and shit. No, like I got that. him confused with Soviet Womble. It's a different guy. No, uh, this guy like he'll do, he'll do like media shares. So like you have to pay a certain amount of money to share a video that you want him to watch and oh, play on yeah. stream. Yeah, or yeah. Or he'll do. Um, he does this thing where uh, he he did this one thing at one point where he did father wubby where he got like this this like pope outfit and his background was like a church and he had people call in and confess their sins to him so fucking funny that's awesome unbelievably funny and it's, he's it's, just raking in cash from people wanting games. to say outrageous shit to him on stream have you ever seen the ones that are the the girl it's girls doing their makeup and then people send donations and it'll be like an ice cream cone and then they'll pretend to lick the screen i don't like talking about them the 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 ones that are like the the, the npc yes that's what they're I called i fucking hate them the npc streamers oh, yeah NPC you fucking streamers. you donate to them and they they act their shit out it's like what is it it's, what is the point it's like you're just you're just donating to watch them do one single thing when you it's got to be the, some weird fetish it's either like a fetish or, 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 or like a really cool fetish <laughs> like <laughs> but wouldn't you just go to like a cam girl website for that kind of no. shit like, I don't understand. Isn't that the same concept? Except for it's more... Seeing them naked's just not enough these days. No, no. dude. You got to watch them kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to see them lick the... You I don't want that. You I just got to watch them perform <laughs> orthopedic surgery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like, donate why. $500 and I'll drop my GameCube in the bathtub. <laughs> Honestly... If you can think of it, it's probably a kink. Well, like the thing is, Twitch doesn't have to be gaming. Like you can just you can just have anything. tits. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they've done it. Um, I mean, there's it, not a lot of men in that line of work, though. <clears throat> the cam guy website, which I mean, the you're m- just—it's because it's just a, gonna be your it butthole. Twitch. Yeah, either Twitch or kick. It's just gonna be your butthole. Yeah, that's fair. 
I mean, you can cool, dangle the... your sack in front of the camera, <laughs> but that's not just that. No, who wants who in like who's ever been like, I want to see your balls. All the that's true. I mean, like, I mean, you could sack <laughs> dangle. If, if, if somebody told me they wanted to see my balls, I'd call the cops on them. I would, I would <laughs> immediately <laughs> red like sirens would be going off in my head and be like, what? That's not what? something you what ask for. No, you don't say that. That's Nobody not something likes you balls. ask for. <laughs> you couldn't sack dangle till you're blue in the face, but. Yeah, it's a finite. It's a finite business. I think it's a finite venture. It is. You're only gonna. I mean, you know, the people who really want to see your sack are gonna see it. They're gonna pay the money. They're gonna get out. Yeah, you know what I mean. They'll yeah. probably screenshot They're like the it. feet guys. <clears throat> right. Yeah. They're they've not seen it. They've around. been there. They've done that. Yeah. You don't have other balls to dangle. You know what exactly. I mean. Unless you yeah. bring in guests or whatever, which yeah. is fine. You, you can, can only you can only see the same pair of piggies in like this in multiple situations mm-hmm. before you're just like. Yeah. Tough business. I wouldn't huh. know. You know the foot fetish guys. The foot fetish guys are a different breed because I've uh, the guy who was under the cars or whatever. The... That one was awesome. Oh shit, dude! Yeah, rock. did I you see that, that article? Yeah, that's amazing. That was the second time he got caught doing that too. Just he... people out here just making the world just like way more unsafe for women. <laughs> just like what the like. Just, it's just a just, weird thing uh, to do, though. It's so fucking weird. Is and that worse just... than like assaulting her? No, no, but at the same time, it's like you're just like That's, you're, there's, I think you're it's just more effort, out though. here to make people fucking uncomfortable by what you do. It's like the. Uh, did you see the one about the? I can't remember if it was Korea or Japan. The guy that. Um, he crawled into, like, you know how their toilets are on the floor? Mm-hmm. This dude, like, crawled into a toilet so he could hide underneath a women's toilet mm-hmm. and, like, watch them piss and shit all day. And then he got stuck and couldn't get out and he died down there. That's, that's got what a he W. Deserved. He got what he deserved. That's a massive W. Like, that's, it's way more effort to do that. That yeah. is a lot of effort. He's like, don't touch how my How did hose. he even get in Some, there? Like, somebody, somebody touched his hose. <laughs> He touched his hose. He, had he touched the hose. Issues. He had to, yeah. <laughs> he had to tap into the tank. He touched dude. the hose. You get structural issues. And then, <laughs> I'll know and then, and then he's going to come down there and he's going to have some words. Well, there was a guy who. <laughs> to straighten you out. There was a guy in this area. Around a little. Like, I don't know. This would have been like a long time ago. But nope, he got I know on exactly. All fours in a Walmart. Yep. And like ran his face into some, some lady's ass. And. Got in trouble for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I hope I, he would. I know who it was, too. Yeah. We went to school with him. Yeah. <laughs> it was here. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah. Then they found him. They found him on camera doing it at a bunch of other places, too. He's on the sex offenders It list was like now. a cool thing that he was like into for a little while. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we went to high school with him. I'm yeah. not surprised. Yeah, we'll tell you after. I'm not yeah. surprised. All right. Please do. I need to It's know. so good, dude. But he also know. got in trouble for other shit after. He got in so. trouble for a lot of other shit. Yeah. But but like that's a road that you're going down. But like, like as soon as you get on all fours, worst, that's where it's it's dude, all downhill from there. It's a road to Can shitty you city. Imagine. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how fucking scary that would be if you're just minding your own business? You're like unit price shopping, like fucking Pillsbury rolls. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, like some Italian dude's nose is in your asshole. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know he's picking out people that aren't wearing underwear. He can tell at this point he's a professional. If you're getting caught, mm-hmm. it's not the first time. You yeah. don't. You never get caught the first time. So right. He can smell the menstruation. He's like, coming for you, dude. He's yeah. insane. <laughs> fucking wild oh that's yeah. just he's taking a big sniff too that's probably. worse than the foot guys it, it, well, it yeah. is um, leagues worse than the foot guys yeah, he's shoving his face in people's asses yeah it's way too it's a lot more physical yeah that's such a way more aggressive i mean dude i really really loved drinking and i really really loved pain pills but i don't know if i've ever been in love with something as much as that guy loves smelling strangers it's, it's, asses. A, it's a good question though like um is it easier to quit you know what i mean i guarantee you it isn't and is it <laughs> I, I guarantee you, dude if you were <laughs> if you were in a situation where you are caught on multiple security cameras in your city <laughs> pax is going crazy uh 
fucking totally lost Multiple my train of thought. Security Multiple cameras. security cameras in your city, uh, smelling women's asses. <laughs> like, there's. I don't think I. If there is a rehab for that, it's not in Philly. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> the rehab is jail because you're not doing that shit in jail. You're gonna, you'll die. You'll get fucking killed if you're gonna try and shove your face in some dude's ass. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like t- like that's your move. rehab right there. Is you're not doing that shit where they're scary people. Who do you go to though? Right? To they gotta have some kind of clinic or something where you can figure this out and Aldi. stop doing it. Yeah, all the they don't have security cameras there. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> that's not gonna help you. Quit. I heard you have to go to Bed Bath and Beyond. You have to go to the Beyond section and yeah. talk yeah, to somebody yeah. there. Yeah, uh, the Beyond. What there? There's like one of those. Be. It's like one of those Japanese like porn shows where it's just asses on walls, all over the walls. What? Just oh, asses. The, they the put weird their asses. game shows that yeah. they have and shit. Those those fucking. Japan does some weird shit. Japan has yeah. some really cool fucking game shows. Okay. And they have ones where they take they have a bunch of women put their asses through holes in the walls. That's and fucking disgusting. They, where? In Japan. Where is this? Tokyo. Where, where can I, I find this? this? Just so I can stay away from it. It's on the corner that. of Amarillo. <clears throat> okay. Where they make all the chips. <laughs> <laughs> some of them are crispier than the others. Yeah. Um, they used to have the Jungle Safari game. But um, the... Uh, yeah, you they that you stick the girls stick their asses through the walls and then I can't remember if it's if it's like the guy has to guess which one is his wife or something. Or they have to guess which one is their daughter or their sister. I don't know. The translations are always weird because I, I never know if it's like a fetish thing. I feel like it's a rainforest cafe situation where like it's a it's the Just idea bush, of going of there and doing the thing is way better than actually being there. Yeah, guaranteed. It's like a fucking Planet Hollywood thing, or like a yeah. like a Hard Rock Cafe, or, right. or like a college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're more in love with the idea. Yeah, yeah. Because you see Van Wilder once when you're homesick from school, and you're like, "I got to go to college and fucking Indian man." Yeah. It was accepted for me. Yeah, where I was like, "Shit, I gotta." I, I... Well, it's like on MTV. You know what I mean? Like, I thought it was going to be awesome when I started watching MTV. I was like, this shit's going like to be Like, just life cool. in general? Yeah. Or just MTV. Every cool people. Yeah. Cool guys. And then you start watching it, and you're going, why is, what is Road Rules? <laughs> Where is, is the music? This, <laughs> this is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> why is Jump Start on at fucking 7 in the morning? How and... come the only time there's music videos is 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah. On a school day. And that was Jump Start. <laughs> <laughs> they Doesn't only make played, any like, sense. They played they like had, 30 minutes worth of videos, and then it was like, nope, let's go to our regular shit now. Fucking yeah. TRL um, was like two hours or something, I think. TRL, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, Whenever yeah, I, I hear TRL, TRL, I just think of Drake and Josh, dude. They had Headbangers Ball. That We're was on TRL. Cool. What was TRL I stand for? I wasn't around for that. T- the talk real loud? <laughs> Total request live. You requested music videos. You call oh. in and ask. I can't believe I remember that. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't have MTV. That was that was like one of the few channels that was blocked in the house. Mm. MTV and VH1. Jumpstart was on VH1. That's what, okay. TNT. I watch VH1 more, more than I watch MTV. I th- I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, in retrospect, VH1 probably did have better programming. Well, it was mu- more music, really. There was more music stuff. There was Fuse. We had Fuse TV, which was just music videos. I would just go to Music Choice and listen to the yeah, fucking yes. Music Choice there was, TV. There was like the Music Choice on demand, where there was like a, there were certain yep. music videos that you could see. Yeah, where that was the first time I saw and um, it would like cycle the out. holiday music video for Green Day was yep. on Music Choice on demand. Dude, the kids will never know how sick on demand was, especially once mm-hmm. they came out with the cutting edge on demand, which was mm-hmm. like Adult Swim and the fucking like. Just the mo- all the obscure channels. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was the best. Back Be- when cable was relevant. Back when, yeah, that that was when cable peaked. Was when they had you had cable. It was all and then DVR. you had on demand. Yeah. And whenever mm-hmm. shit would come out, this makes us sound so old. But so when, whenever old. shit would come out, you would get like a week or two to watch it for like whenever you wanted, and then. Like you could just on demand be- was like basically digital, uh, like the um, DVR. Like yeah, automatic mm-hmm. like cloud DVR basically. Yeah, yeah, it was like yeah, it was basically like Netflix in a way because the cloud you could just click, but it would cloud. cycle out fast. Like, yeah, you would only get like a week or two, but it was sick because 
you would like i mean at least i loved it because you could just always keep watching your favorite shows yeah and you would never have to yeah i used it for it. south park all the time yeah, and they exactly. would constantly like I, I knew have what like, day they would cycle in the new the new yeah, episodes yeah, yeah. so i was like oh i have to finish this before they put the new ones in the, the best, best too was like with certain shows like south park family guy american dad it would have like the last four or five Mm-hmm. It would always have like the last four or five released episodes, and then like one or two bangers that were just always yep. in the rotation. Yeah, yes. like there was always the World of Warcraft episode, and always, yep. um, dude, the episode I remember watching constantly, like I have it like memorized pretty much, is the the South Park episode with the Sea People. And they they miss chokes on dick dies yeah. and they put the semen in with the sea people. Yeah, that episode I probably watched a million times because it was always on demand. Yeah. The Cartoon awesome. Wars awesome. one was always was always on there <laughs> for me. The Cartoon Wars one. The, was the one where Butters goes to Imagination Land. Yeah, I think that was that was Cartoon Wars, right? No, I, Cartoon no, Wars was with Bart Simpson. Yeah, that's oh, the one with the Family yeah. Guy um, manatees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's Imagination it. Land was was sick. Those are both two parter episodes, though. Imagination. Yep. And the one where Cartman has to freeze himself to get the Nintendo Wii, dude. Yeah, that yep. one is. It's classic. That <laughs> one, man. When the I, atheists I, are all fighting over what the name of yeah. their. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I was. Uh, <laughs> So like I, I said earlier, I was I rewatched all the Saw films, and I was I noticed that the first one came out in 2004, which was fucked up for two reasons, because 2004 was 20 years ago, but also my dad let me watch that movie when I was eight, which well, is funny. really hardcore. But then I was thinking, I was actually, we were talking about South Park, and uh, I was looking at my favorite South Park episodes, thinking that they had only come out a few years ago, and then I remember the last season I actually watched I like was in 2015, probably. Damn. Like, yeah, they started doing the like when I really stopped watching it was when they started doing the integrity farms and the like, specials. Dropped it immediately. Dropped it when when they did the specials. I yeah, just they watched the specials dropping, now. Like right when they started, like when Randy got the weed farm, it's like they took a nose dive. It's, it's also like they. I think I there's more it. money in streaming. It's still good. There's more money in streaming, but yeah, it's just not. I don't. It's just what, the way it went. Like they're not gonna put another season of like eight to ten episodes or twelve episodes or whatever on TV. The specials are good. People don't have TV. Yeah, nobody has cable anymore. No. And if they do have cable, it's the fucking, like, the jailbroken fire stick shit that my parents buy. And that shit's so fucking stupid. It's like every single month the website, like, goes to a different domain name, and then you have to sign up for a whole new fucking (laughs) subscription. so fucking fake. I love it. I'm just like, it's the dumbest shit ever. My parents are trying, oh, you should really get it. It's great. I'm like. No, I'll just go to a website that has this. Yeah, I'm like, I constantly listen to you guys bitch about how it's lagging and how it will, like, you'll go to a channel and it just won't work. I'm like, why would I want to have to deal with that when I can, when I have YouTube and all the streaming websites? (laughs) Yeah. Why would I do that to myself? I can watch exactly what I want to watch and I don't have to watch fucking commercials. Right. And my older sister has me and her, or has me on her and her husband's YouTube where they have... Like, I pay for YouTube Premium, and then they have fucking NFL Network, NBA Network, and Max, or HBO. Nice. So it's like, oh, that's that's it. Mm-hmm. Well, and all this tech moved really fast. Like, it really dude, did. Holy like shit, the, exploded. Like, one moment, like, DVD and Blu-ray are fighting each other. And, and then, then the next mm-hmm. moment, like, everybody's on HBO Max. and The best was that, like, like, that like, two-year gap where we had 3D TVs. Yeah, and then after they were like, "Ah, fuck, they're retarded, aren't they?" And everyone was like, "Yes, please stop making them." <laughs> not, no one likes this. This curved, is for no one. Curved TVs are still a thing. Curved TVs are cool. Yeah, because you can see it from different fucking angles in the room. But. Yeah, but the dude, the 3D TVs. That was the one thing that like. My Did dad, you have to wear glasses or? Dude, what? yes. Yeah, my parents yeah. bought a 3D TV. They got one for Christmas, and the first initial like Sony Bravia 3D TV uh, is probably one the reason I had to go to OCC. And two, you had to. They took it took watch batteries, and you had to like turn the glasses on. 
And um, what? Yeah, yeah, dude, the glasses weren't just like 3D glasses that you put on. The initial ones that you literally were, the, they were glasses that you had to turn it takes on. Three double A's. Yeah, to, it has a fan. It has to warm up. <laughs> yeah, then you fucking burn your temples. <laughs> you just then hear the fucking. The, the the worst thing that they did was they made it so like. Sony 3D was its own thing, and then they had like Philips TV or 3D, oh, and yeah. then Samsung 3D, and then that was it. They're Funny all trying to shit. win the. They're the, trying to the beat fucking the punch. non-existent 3D TV war, bro. Right? Like, yeah. it's, it's like how they people still think there's a console war. Meanwhile, Nintendo's sitting here like this. Just like <laughs> yeah. you guys know, this has been over since the Wii, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like PlayStation put out their like pro. Pro or whatever for no that's, reason. Yeah, the pro is a scam. Dude, the new pro is such a fucking. It makes scam. no. It's like only gonna be console war. Like huge PS fans is basically who's gonna buy it. Yeah, and did you see that not all games are gonna be affected by the frame rate um boost? There, it's only going to be certain <laughs> wait, games. Wait, you, wait, did, you, wait, you didn't hear that no, shit? No. <laughs> yeah, no. Not so like, every game on the PlayStation Pro is gonna be like you'll you're not gonna be able to get 60 frames or like above that to 80 out of them. You're only like you'll only get the regular amount. It's only certain <laughs> games that have the capabilities to go like yeah. to go above and beyond However, that you'll be able to do that with. It is pro though. So that means you're a pro now. No, the fucking most insane What's your thing pronoun? is that the uh the fucking the fucking vertical stand and the disc drive don't come included with the console. And it's an extra <laughs> 70 fucking dollars. Dude, it's it's um if you wanted to get the PS4 Pro with the disc drive and the stand and a month of PlayStation Plus, that's literally more than I spend in one month for rent and utilities. So here's it's the thing. And the Pro they, doesn't come with a stand either. <laughs> no. They it started doesn't. selling games. And it doesn't use the regular one. It has its own fucking stand. Yeah. <laughs> they started selling games without all the content. And then you had to buy like DLC to get all the content. Now yeah. they're selling consoles without all of the content. Dude, it's insane. Yep. yep. It's insane. Xbox started it, I think, with the with the battery packs. In my opinion, with with the not the battery packs, it was the the, the, the hard, hard drive. drives up to, on top. That oh, and the fucking yeah. Wi-Fi. The 360 had that. Yeah, the, 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 the Wi-Fi thing that you had to stick on. The, the fucking. It's old why I ones. never got a, I, I never got a 360 until they had the built-in Wi-Fi because mm -hmm. my parents were like, "We're not buying you." The fucking adapter was ninety nine ninety nine always. Yeah. Well, the Series X, um, they it only came with like a, like a terabyte or something. Mm -hmm. The original one. That's wild. And. You had to buy the two terabyte expansion card, which was like three or four hundred dollars or some shit. It was like two, two or three hundred. So, did you buy it? I got it. Someone got it for me for Christmas. It fell off a truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it fell off a truck. I found it. It was a little bit scraped up, but I. Used I it. can't judge because I. That's why I have to delete games every time I'm done playing them on my I PC. I have a I regular hard drive. hard drive. Like I have a solid state drive um, that I also use. That's USB plugged in. So I can use that for like my 360 games and like older games. But the newer ones need the other hard drive or right. the expansion card. Yeah. So like they kind of fuck you on that. Yeah. And it's like, why do they need that? You can't I, format a fucking hard drive. I just, <laughs> like, I don't what, know if I'll ever, on? I don't know if I'll get another console until like I still have my Xbox One S, which I think was Dan's originally. Mm. And it can still run everything. Yeah. Right? And the problem is, too, is like they come out with new consoles and they're not coming out with new generation games. They're coming out yes. with the same games. And yep. they come out for both. Yep. It's and, so shot. And it, limits, it limits games because you can't just make them for the new consoles. And it used to be like growing up, I feel like when the games were coming out, it's like there are so many fucking good games coming out. I don't know which one of these games I want to buy and play. And then like over the course of the year, you're kind of playing catch up with all the games that you yeah. wanted. That And every single one that you got was usually worth the money and it was pretty goddamn good. And nowadays it's like maybe one or two games out of every year are going to be decent. Yeah. Mm hmm. Or it's just going to be more of the same or bullshit. You, and they're just games that like you play for a little while and then you're done with them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Like you used to buy mm. the con the new console and now you're starting from scratch. You mm. buy games for that console. The last generation's over with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how it should be, dude. Like, like you have uh, to 
I can't even think. I I said this on the banked episode, but I couldn't tell you the last game I spent full price. I, it was Baldur's Gate three, I think. Everything else, I wait till it's on sale, or it's like something like Hell Divers that's only forty bucks. Right. Some ordinary gamers broke it down, and he was like, "It's actually, it it's actually more like money savvy to buy a PC nowadays than oh, it, yeah. that it's way more money it's savvy than it would be." to buying like the new pit playstation pro because yes they market it as like it's gonna be i, I forget if it's 899 or if it's 999 but that you also got to factor in the games are now 70 dollars. the playstation plus that's like what 15 to 20 20 dollars a month mm -hmm. like all that shit adds up to the point where it's like yeah you're basically paying for a pc without even noticing it yeah and yep. you could just have a PC where you're playing on like Epic, Battle Eye, or um, or Steam, and you don't have to pay to use those services. You can also you for the build games. a PC that's capable of doing that for like seven hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> literally, if you find all the parts. And but the scary thing is, though, if we were to make the full switch to just going to PCs, that completely destroys the physical gaming industry, and then. That like owning games, just we we don't own them anymore. Once Unless the physical a, media goes away, well, we could buy separate hard drive. We could buy disc drives that attach to our computers, and then they can start putting out PC games again. Remember when they used to be discs? Remember when they were in boxes? Yep. I used to I, get fucking, I fucking the installation Diablo discs, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, I had man. Halo, the original Halo on PC, and I might have it over there somewhere still. That was one of the first computer I games right I ever there. had was Halo Combat Evolved. I think that's it. Bottom row, second row, the first one closest to you, I think, is actually Halo PC. Yep. <laughs> I remember my dad brought my laptop to work with him so he could install Diablo 3 on it while I was at school. That's awesome. Because it took, it took like fucking 10 hours. You had to keep putting the discs in, mm -hmm. and if you didn't put the discs in fast enough... It would fucking cancel out on you. And that was Diablo 3. Yeah. We're on 4. 4 yeah. came out, like, recently. <clears throat> last last June. Yeah. And Diablo 3 was, like, a lot of people's least favorite Diablo because it was so fucking campy. Yeah. It just it did not have the Diablo, yeah, like, two, feel two to it. The Grim Dark. The best one. I, I wasn't big on 4. Like, I, I haven't played it since they made a lot of changes, apparently, but... I like to... I, I make a new character every season, and I get him to max level, and then I never play it again. I get him to, like, level 90. Not even max level. I'll get to, like, 90. I think the most recent one I did, it was me and Dave. We got our guys to, like, 96 or 95. I got my Barbarian to, like, level 50, and then I got, like, a Sorcerer to, like, level 60, I think. Yeah. And that's it. Like... My whole thing is, unless you're going to bring in new cool shit for the Necromancer to do, I'm not touching the game. Yeah. That's just my rule. Yeah. It's a lot of button mashing. Not at it all, is. dude. It's pretty automatic. Oh, a lot of stuff is now, yeah. Necromancer is the most fun because you get to just be like, <laughs> yep, the whole time. You don't even have to do <laughs> yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, it's the best, dude. <laughs> That's why I was always Necromancer because I was always drinking while playing Diablo. <laughs> I didn't have to pay attention. I just had to click in the empty zones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just click wherever nobody is. <laughs> yeah, I kind of found a D&D hack where I just play a gunslinger and I don't die because I'm always standing like at least 100 feet away and just fucking <laughs> just bah! Does that remind you of anybody? Yeah. <laughs> That's why we get along so well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking guns is hilarious yep just my, guns in D, D. my fucking uh my character in our campaign used to be an eldritch knight but we did class changes and i switched him from an eldritch knight fighter to a champion fighter and in lore mm -hmm. it's just because he woke up and forgot how to do magic and then he got summoned by the patron that gave him his powers and she's like i don't know what happened either mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so now I just can't use magic anymore. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh man. It was just weird happenstance. Yep. <laughs> it was the best part was that he only used shield. I only had spell slots so I could use shield. My AC was already like 23. But now we're just gonna get dumped into fucking it wasn't really D and D. My problem right now with my gunslinger is he's only his AC is only 14. So if he does if something does get thrown at him, it, he's getting hit. 
<laughs> so. Yeah, I, that's why I'm a sorcerer and I struggle with that because your your AC is always low. Even with oh, like my AC is not 23. Low. With shield, it's 23. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, my default my AC is only 18. I think oh, okay. 18 or 19. What level are you? 10, 11. Oh wow, okay. 10. 10, I think. Yeah, because at 11, we, I, I'll, I'll get a third attack at level 11. But I tried to, like, mitigate. Five, like, I tried to. I have spell sniper so I can use things from further away. So I try to stay the fuck away from everything. That always doesn't work, though. See, this is the problem I have with every other game. Because we've been talking about other games. Especially in the banked episode, we talked about a lot of, like, like Gears 5. Which is great because we actually played Gears 5 with We you. did, and I enjoyed that game. Yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. That game is fucking great, and I'm really excited for the new one. Same. That's, like, it's going to be a prequel with... And, like, apparently... Not apparently, but... Yes, apparently, because we haven't played it yet. But it's going to take place during the same time where, like, Marcus and Ty invented the Lancer. Because... Mm. I guess in the comics or in the graphic novels or something, they actually were the ones that came up with the idea for the Lancer rifle with like the chainsaw on it. Oh, in the this time period, Gears Five looks really good still. <sighs> it's yeah. one of the best looking games I've ever played. Yeah, and um, it's, the multiplayer was so smooth. I love the multiplayer yeah. in Five, and I love the story. Honestly, the story fucking makes yeah, me cry. Well, he didn't have to deal with the days of like. Uh, Gears One like connection issues. And yeah, oh, the fucking lag Xbox switching kid. shit. And fucking the yeah, host just like the host connection getting splattered from like f- way too far away. What was I dealt the, with that on Call of Duty? What's the map with the <laughs> fucking escalation? Yeah, that That's was the, map, the worst I, that one. Flashed in my head. Yeah, because like you'll be halfway up the map and someone will be at the bottom and then you'll be Nasher shot and then the screen will flash and they'll actually be next to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but what I was going to say was the problem with all those other games that aren't D&D is that I, we talk about D&D and then immediately my brain goes, as soon as you get home, you're playing Baldur's Gate 3. Mm. Somebody mentioned D&D, so you're playing Baldur's Gate 3 when you get home. See, what I do is I'm I'm like when I get too hard into like talking about like if if I go too hard into D&D, like we do multiple sessions a week. Or like like I'll start needing to play another RPG and I'll just dip my dick right back into Cyberpunk. Because oh, I yeah. fucking love oh, man. Cyberpunk. Dude, I know. I was, the Phantom I, Liberty DLC. It's insane. Just, I was gonna buy it. Mm. It's should. so good. You really it's should. really good, man. It adds so much more shit to the Honestly, game. Honestly, tied tied my game of the year with Baldur's Gate three. That's not even a joke. It was that good. Mm. I um Oh my mom's calling me. That's getting ignored. I had to be old. Oh yeah. I got the flip. Oh you did? Yeah. It's the the Motorola mm. flip, but yeah, yeah. I just love having the huge fucking screen. Yeah, That's cool though. You can really actually big. use the smaller outside screen. Yeah, you That's can you do everything that you can do on the big screen with the smaller screen. That actually is cool. Um, the I think it's the Samsung Fold. It doesn't have. It has like a tiny screen on that. Yeah, you outside. can only use widgets. Yeah, it's fucking kind of stupid. stupid. Yeah, I say if you do go with a flip, go with the go with Motorola because I, I just like the fold. Love it's already the phone. same size as like a regular phone, and then and then you and then I can bigger. fucking double. Is that it. the newer one? It's only the three. Really? Which I mean, it's still fucking ridiculous. I'll probably get the five when the six comes out when the five drops down in price, but I don't like to buy the newest ones. It's um, like I can't justify spending. All you that played money. Cyberpunk 2077 when it came out. Yeah, you haven't played Phantom Liberty, dude. You have to. You owe it to yourself. You have to play it as soon as you can. It's it's yeah. that good. Um, when I you know. first get to the actual like zone, like Dogtown itself, where the DLC takes place, it literally feels like a whole brand new game. It feels like the game that they were supposed to give us. That's what I, yeah. Like, and it's like unironically, <laughs> like that's how it feels. I I'm mean, I'm mad that they didn't add more romance options, though. Yeah, that is. They annoying. should have added more. And I hate the people that go, "Well, you can just download mods." I don't want to. No, because yeah, that's not you the same. Have to. You yeah, really should. I, I don't have to. like. I, I've. I, I. That was the main reason it I got. It was kind of specific about that stuff too. Like it was kind of the the way. You like the path that you were going to take was kind of specific. It was kind of linear. It felt like yeah. You have a straight option. You have a bisexual option, and then you have a gay option. Yeah. There's there's Pan Am, Judy, and River. River Phoenix. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zooey mama. Yeah, I, would, I would honestly play the whole game again, probably. Did you but... you already beat it once? Which ending did you get? I did both because I saved and then uh, I was like, I'll just do both. Hell yeah. <laughs> but uh <coughs> the new know. ending is heart wrenching. I won't say a goddamn thing more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause oh man, that was my last playthrough I did, and I was just my my jaw was on the floor. Well, then there's the whole a, time. Was, there's the there's multiple endings for Phantom Liberty too. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The the um the so-called good ending of Fa- Phantom Liberty is what I'm talking mm, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cried. Yeah, because there's it, there's no good ending to Cyberpunk. Yeah, it's kind of just like it's like which, which <laughs> how, like what version of sadness do you want to feel? Yep. <laughs> like, do you want name brand? Do you want yeah. obscure? <laughs> you want devastating loneliness? Do you yeah. want? <laughs> Like you literally, yeah. See how much it is. Thirty bucks, maybe. I guess it's probably forty or fifty. Well, because it's a fucking triple A game. Requires a game, okay. Oh, thirty. Jesus Christ. Not bad. It's some. It goes on sale though. Yeah, it's (laughs) worth the thirty. In my opinion, it's worth every single penny. Yeah. Choose that's the other thing too is so you mentioned earlier about how like it seems like only one or two good games come out a year i think mm-hmm. the other thing too is that there's been some really 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 good games that have come out in the past few years mm-hmm. i mean just just now cyberpunk and baldur's gate those two games even if you're just going to play through them one time a piece are you could just buy those two games and have them last you the whole year if you're yeah. not like a hardcore right. gamer mm-hmm. but even people like us like I think when those two both came out was around September, October this time last mm-hmm. year. They were the only two things I played until I got Madden, which would have been a, like six months. Didn't Helldivers come out around the same time? Helldivers came out uh, February. So yeah, that's probably why I stopped yeah. playing oh. Baldur's Gate and Phantom Liberty. It was because Helldivers, Helldivers came out. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, and I tried Ghost of Tsushima recently. It was all right. It just feels I, like another Assassin's Creed to me. Yeah, it kind of. That's how I felt about um, the Shadow of Mordor games and Shadow of what is it? Shadow, Shadow of War. War. Yeah, I like those, but just because I love the Arkham games. Yeah, the, mm-hmm. Arkham Knight. That I didn't finish it. They I got, didn't really get they that got far. The fucking the Arkham, Arkham VR coming out. Yeah. So. Oh man, that looks insane. Dude, and I, so I might buy a Meta Quest just to play that. I'm definitely getting that. Fast. Arkham Knight is definitely a game that I I have to. I'll I just keep dipping my toes back into. I just play it for like, do, few hour spurts. The funniest shit. So you like you know when you boot it up, it'll show you like your community, like your friends' rankings or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I boot it up and I'm like scrolling through. I'm like, oh weird, I don't see Zamaya on my leaderboard. And then I go up and it's like percentage of game completed, a hundred twenty percent. I'm like, that makes sense. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. completed more than exists in the game. Dude. Yeah. Because I'll just fucking laser into a game until I. But that's what he's like making content for the game and that's what those games are best with. (laughs) They're so like it's it's uh I think that's why I like Shadow of War so much. That and the Nemesis system, because there really isn't a plot. The plot the Nemesis system is kind of so like Assassin's Creed. Um, Valhalla had something similar too. Yeah. Mm. Where you have to hunt down certain people, hunt like, down and there's like a there's like a higher there's like a hierarchy of the. <laughs> but that I don't know. I I didn't mind Shadow of Mordor, but I didn't. Um, I just didn't stick with it long enough. I guess. The the war war is fun, but I also um, is that on Game Pass or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe what avenue care. does Assassin's Creed have to go down to like make you guys buy another game? There's... Just make it make they gotta, Assassin's Creed Four. They gotta again. make a... <laughs> just make Assassin's Creed Black they Flag again. An, they gotta make an Assassin's Creed that takes place in feudal Japan where you get to play as a black guy. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I was I was thinking like they need to do like fall like like um fall of Troy <laughs> no no no, no, no. Uh, Assassin's Creed like Louisiana and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like a modern day no 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 not modern day like during during like the fucking Civil War times where it's just <laughs> where, like when Stonewall Jackson thought the war was still going on. <laughs> 
it's just Wait. like it's just six months of fucking <laughs> it's just confederate soldiers being like what are we doing out here <laughs> oh my <laughs> god please that would, oh my god you're just you're just <laughs> ending the confederacy yeah the, I think as eventually a black they, guy this was history they, this oh, happened please yeah. please we're gonna have to at some point they're, they're running out of stuff they're I'm shocked time. actually because <laughs> Assassin's Creed 3 you played as a Native American guy in colonial America, right? Mm -hmm. How have they actually not done like a Django? Because that's so problematic, dude. But it'd be for yeah, but like Ubisoft is not gonna do that. And no, whoever their publisher they need to is. play it safe because they're a triple A company, so they're never gonna take a fucking swing. What's like the that. newest one supposed to be? What era is this supposed Feudal to be? Feudal Japan where you play as a black guy. Oh yeah. It kind of it kind of is. And I love how the the lore of this guy was is just all it's they they Apparently. all got it from a quote. They, this guy built lore about this one dude, at, like from a quote in a story. Like this guy is just okay. like he might have been real. Oh. That's that's the whole thing about like this this guy. Apparently, from what I've seen, I I like it because people are really mad that it's fueled Japan and you're playing as a black guy. Hmm. That's my favorite thing. That's really funny. It is really funny. I, I just, I don't know why I think it's funny. I'm sorry. Like, I just do. Don't be sorry. I think like, it's funny, too. It's fucking hilarious. It's like, why like, people are up in like, arms about this shit. It's they get like, mad about that and not the fact that it's the same game over and over again. Right. And they show gameplay footage and it looks the same. Then they go, well, they, they, they took a... They took a Tory gate, but they destroyed it, and they're making fun of Japan by making it look like when Nagasaki got bombed. That's the Tory gate from Nagasaki. That'd be like if they made an Assassin's Creed game and they put Ground Zero in the background. No, it's not. <laughs> That's Dude, not the same. Mike, YouTube mm. is filled with so much red pill content because I find it so fascinating. Mm -hmm. Like, this just... Some of the outrage, the Gamergate outrage, I, I can agree with mm -hmm. as far as, like, people going out and intentionally making shit. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Woke? Yeah, but I don't want to say it. I don't want to say woke because that just that's just not a word I like. But, yeah, I don't like the thing, word either. But, but like, at the same time, like, it's... I just think of Concord. Just oh, look at Concord. Right. Yeah. Like. That is very problematic multi-million dollar flop for a number of reasons it's a problem because now they're setting like a precedent for like if our game's bad enough we can just get rid of it yeah we'll just pull it and re-release it later for free it's not not good because that's what people think is going to happen with concord is they're just going to re-release it again but it's going to be a free to play or something i so can't people will actually believe buy it i don't think anybody's going to free to play, play it, it. Yeah. i can't <laughs> believe <laughs> that they are <laughs> they literally canceled. stop making hero shooters just yeah. stop they thank you just fucking just fix team fortress 2 so i can go back <laughs> yeah. to the to when it was good man yeah. <laughs> Or just make Star Wars Battlefront, the, like the original Star Wars. That's kind of a hero shooter because there's classes. You know, like I, I class, agree with yeah. it. it. The one, um, the one mode where you could play as all the different heroes and shit like that. The I agree hero assault that. was sick. Yeah. Um, I just think it's it's annoying when you have uh, game developers that just spend all their time on social media arguing with people that are mad about a game that they are not playing. Like mm -hmm. just put, just don't just. I bet a lot of these games that are quote unquote woke wouldn't be getting under fire so much if they didn't feed all the trolls. Yeah. Like right. if they're if if Sony was like no social media at all ever, and I bet then shit would have been okay. Concord still would have flopped though. You can't fucking release that game. That game looked just mm -hmm. They Eight. need to take they need to take a page out of um, JRPG's book because for some reason JRPGs could they could make fucking eighty four installments of a game people are gonna buy that eighty fifth yeah yeah well like, fucking hesitation. Final Fantasy yep. Shin Megami Tensei Persona all those games people are still buying them shits I, I, I every single what. time and it's just like. With it, they're apparently Pokemon. they're killing it every single fucking <laughs> game. Shale. If people are still buying all these things <laughs> and they're still pumping them out, so it's like I don't even finish them. I I buy every Persona game and every Final Fantasy game. I haven't finished one of them. 
I bought Final Fantasy 13 for my PlayStation 4. Did I finish that? No. Did I even get halfway through the game? I was going to no. say, did you get to the part where it's open world? Because that happens at some point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at some point, yeah. It's like 40 hours in. <laughs> you get, you finally God. leave the intro. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Dude, uh, it sucks. Some of those games, like, Persona is great because it's so long, but it also sucks because of that. Like, mm. I was talking to Joe about it when I got five for the first time, and he's like, yeah, that first playthrough took me 120 hours. And I don't, know, I don't know what got me w- worse, the fact that he said first or 120 hours. <laughs> <laughs> like, but then, I, then I'm like, oh, shit. I look at Baldur's Gate 3, and I'm like, I just hit 700 hours yesterday. So. Yeah, I couldn't even <laughs> tell you how long it took me to actually complete a Skyrim playthrough. Oh, Like, man. from start to finish. Yeah. I've never been able to... I'm not to sure where it ends, to be honest with you. Dragonborn, the DLC, you have you have the main story, then they have the Dawn Guard, and then the Dragonborn. Oh. Yeah, once you finish, like, all of the main so campaign Sol- stories, Sol- 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 basically I'm done. I've never, I've never been able to do all three. I've never... I, well, well, I guess it would be the Civil War and the main story and the two DLCs mm-hmm. and then all the factions. Yeah. So that's nine. Never done it with one guy. I did it in Starfield in two weeks. That's why Starfield sucks. Ugh. I fucking, <laughs> Fuck I Starfield. fucking, I did fucking two playthroughs and I did every single faction quest. I'm so happy I didn't buy that game. I haven't finished that. It's uh, the it's the best game I've ever played for the first 60 hours. And then it's the worst game I've ever played for the final 10. Like hour hmm. one through 60 was amazing. And then 61 to 70, I dropped it. Mm. But every like four months, I pick it up and I like I just I pump like thirty or it, it's it's not really <clears throat> awful. Just because I, I rem- just don't I... expect anything. Yeah, don't expect Skyrim. Yeah, just play Skyrim. I got the Outer <laughs> Worlds, and I was ex- like, when I got the Outer Worlds, I was expecting that was going to be a little bit more than what it was, and then I played it, and uh, was very disappointed. I did not like, oh, man, the travel system, the fact that it was it came out in the year that it did. And we're still going to a menu, hitting a going through a loading screen and then just randomly popping up on the planet is just fucking bonkers. Yeah. When there's games like No Man's Sky and Ratchet and Clank 2. Yeah. (laughs) And then then it's just like, well, why didn't you do that? And they're like, it's not that type of game. And it's like, all right. So you were intentionally trying to make a bad game. They did the same thing with Starfield. Yeah, you just didn't want to do that, or yeah. what's going on? The thing that I would have liked about Starfield more is if they made the ship more immersive. Like, I don't like that when you're on the ship, you can't just go. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but you can't just like go to your little holographic map and like just click shit on the map. You know, mm. like when you fast travel, it always takes you to your menu. It'd be <sighs> cool if there was more like Dead Space. I played the Dead Space remake. Mm-hmm. And Callisto Protocol sort of does it, even though it's not as good. But I love when the interactable things in the environment are actually there. Yes. You know, instead of right. just like you click something and a menu pops up. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it's weird that they haven't had that. Like, even with Fallout 4 and 76, you you don't go to a menu when you hack into a terminal. You're actually yeah. looking at the terminal. Like yeah. That's how Jedi Survivor was. Like, you go to the map and then you go, here's where we're going. And then you hit it. And you're still on the ship, and you watch it as it travels. Yeah. I would even like that more. Just don't go to the, just because you have a pilot. The outer worlds so. I thought was going to be New Vegas in space, and it ended up just being New Vegas. It didn't even feel like you were in space. Yeah, like there was no, mm-hmm. there was nothing like. Yeah, and it, it like wasn't even, <laughs> and, and it was like way more vacant than New Vegas. It wasn't even on par with New Vegas. I mean, in my opinion. Starfield almost wouldn't like feel like it's in space if it didn't have flight areas like just like the space travel yeah not like just it's not even travel it's just like a zone that you're in yeah like it's like star fox like a fucking (laughs) yeah like (laughs) like a rail shooter yeah if it didn't have that that is kind of what the spaceship combat feels like it wouldn't you you would just be fast traveling everywhere yeah that's a shame eventually yeah you do just fast travel everywhere kind of but there should be more games Mm -hmm. where uh you think you're playing Star Fox, even though you're playing something else. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. The first, um, the the first in the Jedi 
the I think it was Fallen Order. Yeah. The first mm. one. I loved that that game. I thought it was so good. There were aspects of it that I didn't like. The fact that you couldn't like that it was somewhat souls like yet you couldn't fast travel throughout the map mm-hmm. that you were on. That kind of bugged me a little bit. And the fact that again, where it's just it's like you're just hit hitting X on a menu and you're just going to the fucking planet. Yeah. But I thought that game did the combat and everything very well. And then I got Jedi Survivor and they redid everything about it. And I just I was not a fan of all the changes they made just because yeah. it, it kind of felt like they were trying to pull themselves away from like the difficulty aspect of the first game and make it a little bit more easy and accessible by like simplifying the controls. But at the same time, it was just, yeah. Um, I liked, um, aspects of it where you could like switch between stances during attacks and shit. Mm -hmm. Um, they added the cross guard stance and they added uh, something else, but like, I don't know. I enjoyed it for what it was, mm-hmm. I, but I think Fallen Order was the better game for sure. Yeah. Fallen Order is just incredible, dude. It is such a good game. The ending. Oh, man, the ending yeah. of that game was explosive. Yeah, they did a really good job. That was kind of a surprise, too. Yeah. Like, it was like a game that I was like, oh, that'll be cool. And then, you know, you don't expect much out of it because it's a, like, it's an EA, it's a Star Wars game. Yeah. And you're like, well, it's probably not going to be. It's going to be all right. But And then you're like, what? Yeah, this they is blowing up. me away. It was so immersive, too. Yeah, like, they bring out a lore-accurate Vader at the end, mm-hmm. and you're just like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, that was in, fucking he's just He has all the power that he should have had in the movies, mm-hmm. and it's actually fucking terrifying because he's you're running away from him, and he's just dismantling the area around you with just his fucking hand in your yeah (laughs) i should play that one again it's fucking hard though it is hard if you i mean if you play it on like i don't know there's i think there's like jedi master i think i played it on the normal difficulty and it was still hard i played it on the hardest difficulty and dathomir made me almost break a controller yeah that's another thing is go to Dathomir first and get the fucking um the dual lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Is that like is that like the Drake sword of Fallen Order? It's the twin blade. It yeah, it just gives you faster attacks. Oh, it's like Darth Maul? Yeah. It's better for like crowd control type of stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I never like once I got the twin blade, I never used the single blade again. Really? Yeah. I never I liked it, it for bosses. Um <clears throat> but like I thought it was just badass, like how cinematic it would be, mm-hmm. and you could fucking hit with like the double blade and then fucking close one. It was fucking badass. It dude. was pretty cool. And Cal Kestis is a cool character. Yeah. And apparently, they're bringing, they're giving him a show. Mm-hmm. So that'll be pretty cool. He is in something that I've seen. Shameless. Shameless. Yeah, he is in that show. Yeah. Yeah, he was good. Yeah. I know his name's Cameron. I just don't know his last name. Uh, Jedi or er, Skywalker. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Cameron Jedi at your service. Yeah, that's how they learned. That's where they came up with the name. The Lightbringer. <laughs> and the, a um, the uh Star Wars Battlefront games. They haven't done any new ones. Set. So the only Star Wars games that have come out is that new Outlaws one and Survivor. Battlefront just cannot hit three. They just will not do it. How? It makes no sense. It or two whole... didn't like when it came out. It was basically a failure, and it did what? Um, it was the microtransaction thing. Yeah, but then they bl- revamped yeah. the entire game, and then it was good, and people still play it to this day. Like, there's still a player base on Battlefront 2, but it, I, the, may it be small, but it's yeah. it's still fucking there. It's the same thing with Halo Infinite. It was bad when it came out. They fixed <clears> it, and it's only got whoever stuck with it. You yeah. know? I'll hop back on every once in a while to play it because it runs really good on my Legion Go. Yeah, and but... I think the thing they've done with those games was like the visuals and the sound design was so good Mm -hmm. and it's just battlefield really i mean it's kind of what it is Mm -hmm. i felt like the story was very lackluster yeah like it was 
it just didn't feel yeah. as personal as the other Halo games because the that. whole open world aspect kind of like took away. I feel it's like got the from girl the from the league. The girl from the league. Yeah. Who, Jenny or? No, um, uh, Shiva. Shiva. She plays the main character. In what? Halo? In uh, Battlefront 2. Oh. Oh. I thought we were talking about Halo Infinite. Huh. No, that's a different game. Battlefront 2, the story mode is the fucking, the Imperial officer that defects after the fucking tutorial mission, right? They pull a haze. You do like one mission as the Imperial officer and then you're like, oh, I'm going to join Princess Leia. Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. is right. That shit's so stupid. I was so mad. I thought you were actually going to be able to play as the Empire. I don't Empire, really like dude. the way this is going. <laughs> that would so cool. Like uh, Star Wars Squadrons had that where um, uh, you played, you could play as like the TIE fighter pilot and you could, you did like a full evil playthrough. Mm-hmm. Star Wars Squadrons was really good, but I feel like not a lot of people got it. I heard it one. was good. I, I, I couldn't get into it because <clears> I'm not good at those kind of games i'm not good at like i bought a whole fucking like i bought um a joystick yeah flight stick for that game i should get one of those because that new flight simulator is coming out too yep that'd be fun as hell yeah i I like star wars squadrons i'll just sell mine to you (laughs) (laughs) i I don't ever use it so all right well i guess we can wrap it up it's warm as fuck in here yeah, dude. I've oh, been, been going for a minute, haven't we? It's been I've an been, hour and a half. No oh, shit. What? Time Some flies. Shit. That's how Hell it goes. Yeah. And then we'll play a quick game of Blitz. And <laughs> quick game of Blitz, and uh, that'll be it. All right. Um, well, thank you for being here. Absolutely. Anytime. Um, thank you for having me. Go to w.gg. Uh, did it work? I, I did. didn't play it. Oh. If you want to win Wrong a W. <laughs> I'll play. Yeah, you should pull, get pop the it w. up. All right, there it is. Check that out. There's Man, the, I can't believe we fucking ended on Star Wars Squadrons. We literally ended on probably every, like, we're probably the two only people that like that game. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard anybody else like it. I'm, I'm an obscure cool. gamer. It yeah, nice. it did. It looked, it's All right, everybody. We'll see you in two weeks. Thank you for watching. Rogue Squadron.